Uh, verse 8 is mm. for the rest of y'all <laughs> that don't understand prosperity, don't understand how it works. We, won't, we don't want to leave y'all out. We don't want to be racist in here, so we want to talk to you all, the rest of y'all up in here, who don't know how God's system works and got all your spiritual attributes and ideas about this ain't right, that's not right. Giving is the top of the list. Yeah. You can put your receiving at the top of the list, but you ain't going to receive much. It's divine. Yes, sir. It, it, it governs God's blessing. Ooh, Jesus. Giving governs God. Write that down. Giving governs God's blessing in my life. Goodness. See this. See this, please. See this. See, and, and if these things here worry you, you, you sure at the right church. He put money in my hand and all that. I'm just showing you the, the magnetism, the magnetism of giving. You wonder why it happened to me. Because I'm a giver. Right. And, and I'm anointed to receive. Right. And these, all of these things are for a reason for you to see how it works. There are those who had it happening to them right now. I'll tell you one, I'll call his name. Uh, Jeff Phillip, my son in the gospel, got a church in the hood. And got people trained just like you are. People giving left and right. Jeff had no problem. Jeff, Jeff one of the biggest givers to me. Jeff come to my uh, house, stand in the yard and said, can I, can I see Pastor a minute? And they let him in the house. Me and my three, two of my boys sitting down eating uh, lunch. Jeff said to me, God told me to bring this to you. $10,000. He said, I was in Las Vegas walking down the street and God said, get it in his hand quickly. May on this entire church a given anointing be released. May on the internet a given wave flow all over the world this morning and knowing what they're doing and expecting divine results. I see nobody broke. I see nobody desire not being met. I see people moving into their dreams and vision because the given anointing is about to open my way. <laughs> you see it? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, pastors who listen to them, I see your church being paid off by the given anointing. Find you some good soul and sow in. And stop all your strategies and conniving, man. Sow your way out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm preaching myself happy, boy. Woo, glorious. Woo, glory to God. Sow your way out. Tell your neighbor. No, I didn't say owe your way out. Some people trying to owe their way out. I heard the Holy Ghost say, tell them I didn't say owe your way out. That means barter. I said, what? Show your way out. Tell somebody else. Now don't get in your mind, I want your money. I'm loaded. Don't get in your mind up here. I'm trying to get a dollar from you. I'm loaded. I got money. I don't know where it is. My money is spin friendly. When I see something I want, my money says spin me. So I don't want you to get no creative ideas about, you know, working you up. I ain't trying to wake you up, I'm trying to get you up. Shoot. <laughs> man, man, my goodly somehow, yeah. Sit down. So I'm gonna give you some principles from these texts when I read them. I'm just working the text as I go, but the Holy Ghost is so much. You see the, the side, but they won't sell it. They ain't got no giving spirit. And then they won't give it to who? Poor and had enough given to them already with their poor self. And the average poor person then got too many gifts. That's why they still poor. They still poor because people won't let them learn how to sow. Their hand like this all the time. In my lifetime, every person that I could, that I've taught to change that hand style, I saw their life change. Some I had to run off because they wasn't going to change. They just had that spirit in them. I tried to change them, they wouldn't change. They just got this. What you got for me? 
lady said in the bank, lady mm -hmm. turned her computer around at the desk. She said, uh, this is what kind of interest we're paying, 0.05%? 0.05% on saving. <laughs> that's what your money, that's what you're getting back. You ain't getting back no more than that, 0.05%. Then she said, on CDs, 0.09. But yet, I have developed a hundred dollars anointing because I sold hundreds like, it's, like, like, like a dollar. And it come back to me in whops of hundreds. Forty hundred, all kind of hundred dollar bills, just like I sold it. Name your seed, God dog it. Name what you want to receive and sow it and it come back to you. You sow five, it come back in five. These are secret I'm sharing. These are secret I'm sharing, you see. Amen. So she was mocked to be blessed. Yes, there are seeds that you sow that mocks you to be blessed the rest of your life. Amen. There are lifetime blessing seeds. When you're under the anointing and God urged you to do it at that time. It may be a seed that mocked you the rest of your life. That's why I stay. I'll never be broke. Another day in my life. You know why? I'm mocked. As a I sow seeds in secret. I sow some open. Amen. Man said he's gonna take my church. I can't meet the next payment. I just got in it. God said that's your assignment. Tell him how much you need. He said thirty thousand. I said be in the mail in the morning. What I get back? I said one of his churches. How long do you think that seed gonna last? Rest of my life. They're putting your sand in that church. God said, "Send Leroy a harvest." God sometimes sets you up for a seed. You got to keep your eyes open, children. You got to keep your eyes open. I'm paying attention to all them poor folks. You gonna have them with all way. They always gonna be there. You can help them when you get ready, but they they they're not no uh, harvest people no way. You just helping them. God said, I'll give you back what you give them. That's what he said. Yes, sir. He, he took, be, be told for a memorial hut. Now, go to Mark 12 quickly. I'm going to give you some prayer. Go to Mark 12 quickly. I want to show you how this works. Because, you know, we, we get all uh, hooked up on this expensive uh, sewing. But I want to show you. What, when what Jesus looking at in here this morning? You think Jesus looking at your black and gold or your hair or something? Or what you got? Or no, Jesus. You think Jesus looking at your Bible, how you got it marked up? No, Jesus watching you at offering time. Jesus watching you at offering time. Jesus watching you at offering time. Your money giving tell you where you at. Some of you lies up in here in this church and not tithe. Then you talk about blessing. How can I bless what curse? You ain't making them on four hundred dollars. You won't give God forty dollars because you poor. You see, the other person making four thousand. So, and the Lord don't expect me to give them on forty dollars off this. Look at her over there. She's making four thousand dollars a month. I'm making four hundred. Stupid. How you think she got the four thousand? <laughs> Now don't raise your hand, but I'm putting how many of y'all up in here not tired? Any financial problem you got, if you're not tired, that's where it come from. Amen. Now if you're tired and you still got them, they, they're temporary. Amen. The tides better go up in here this morning. Because I know some of y'all not tired. I ain't 
giving Leroy my money. Stupid! <laughs> this vision big enough for your tide. Man sent his tide from Germany. Man said, I ain't never heard nothing like this. Say, Here's my tide, brother. <laughs> he said, this is where I'm getting traded right now. And we said to them, your local church, you know, send your tithe to your local church. But if your local church not feeding you and you're looking for a church, go look for your church to send your tithe where you're getting fed at. You're supposed to pay your tithe where you get fed at. Yeah, and Mark, now you're going to be just amazed here uh, where Jesus is at now. I'm going to see if Jesus, then Jesus might be carnal. <laughs> Jesus might be in the flesh, yeah. You know, he ain't hearing from God. You think there's any time, there's a time anywhere? I'm talking to y'all over there. You think there's any time where Jesus didn't hear from God? Huh? Do you think there's a time that has come in Jesus' life that he wouldn't do what God would do? Huh? No, you know, Jesus said, me and my father want. It's not me that does the work. He says, the word that does the work. So wherever Jesus said, that's what God said. All right, verse 41 of the 12th chapter of Mark. This is what poor folks got to do. You there? Because I don't want you to miss verse 41. Read verse 41 with me. And Jesus, the treasury, and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. And many that was rich cast in much. And he says, There came a certain what? No, he didn't say that. What, what kind? Didn't, didn't say poor. It didn't say poor. It can't be saying poor. There came a certain, and it double, double jeopardy. Poor widow. She had nobody providing for her. And she threw in two might which make a fathering and he called unto him well he called him y'all come see because he know they're full of unbelief yeah. <laughs> there's a question arising in my heart how much do you have to have to sow what sowing break you waiting for And it's the sowing that causes the breakthrough. Amen. Somebody waiting for a breakthrough to sow. Now I can tell you right now from my personal life, I sold my way out of lack. I sold my way out of my small house. Thank you, Lord. I sold my way out of hangar suits from J.C. Penney. <laughs> sold my way out. That's the only way you're going to get out. Beyond your tithes. Oh, Lord, now Jesus. You're talking about tithes. Now you're talking about beyond your tithes. Lord Jesus, this man going out of his mind. Show him out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. I mean divine mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If you listen to me. Thank you, Lord. If you don't let demonical forces upset your theology. And hear what the Spirit of God is saying. I'm telling you. There's a better life to live thank financially. You Lord, thank you, Lord. 